So this is the D Solar 4 watt panel. When you order the D Solar 4 watt, you get one of these, which is the panel. And you can see on the back side, it's got a circuit board where the D Solar NXT adapter goes. And you receive a D Solar 4 watt adapter. The, the adapter has an RJ12 jack attached on one end. On the other, it has a fake positive um, battery and it has a clip for the negative terminal. To attach the D Solar 4 watt to the NXT, we'll find the two orphan terminals. For the negative terminal, you have an orphan right here. And for the positive, you have an orphan right here. You can tell that they're orphans because they are, unlike all the other terminals, they are not connected with metal to any other terminal. You can see that the battery opening is on, opening is on this side. The terminal, the negative terminal is located here. The positive terminal is located here. The two orphan terminals are opposite of the latch on the bottom of the NXT. For the most basic setup of the NXT with the D-Solar 4 watt, you'll take your D-Solar adapter and attach it into the back of the D-Solar 4 watt. It'll clip in, you'll hear a click, put that to the side, and then we'll find the two orphan terminals. I'll connect the positive first. Here's our orphan terminal. Here's the latch. And I'll put that in. And then I'll connect the negative terminal. Here's the orphan negative terminal opposite the latch next to the uh, plug for the, for the rechargeable battery. And I'll just clip that on to the... And see how it sits flush on the back side? And there we have the most basic setup of the D Solar 4 watt with the NXT. The cap bank is sold separately from the D Solar 4 watt. It can be used to smooth out any voltage differences you might experience as your Lego robot um, changes in angle direction to the sun. You can see on the cap bank we have two capacitors. We have a power out, which is labeled with the power out, and we have power in, which is labeled the power in. So this jack is where the power comes in from the solar panel. The, the voltage will be stored in the capacitor banks, and then the jack labeled power out will run to the NXT. To attach the desolar cap bank, to the NXT and the D-Solar 4 watt, we'll use a line which is provided with the D-Solar cap bank, and this line will run between the D-Solar 4 watt solar panel and the cap bank. So here's our basic setup. We'll disconnect the NXT from the D-Solar 4 watt, and on the back of the D-Solar 4 watt, we will insert with a click power cable. We'll run the cable to the power in. So the D Solar 4 watt goes to the power in in the cap bank. And finally, we'll put the NXT in by connecting it to the cap bank into power out. So slide the NXT adapter off of the NXT into the power out cap bank. You can use the D-Solar 4 watt to directly charge a lithium-ion polymer battery. <clears throat> Here we have the LEGO NXT lithium-ion polymer battery. We have our NXT. We will just put that in place as we normally would. We'll take our D-Solar battery adapter, which is sold separately from the D-Solar 4 watt. We can do this in any order that we want to, but we'll put it into the back of the D-Solar battery adapter. 
And finally, we will put the male plug of the desolar battery adapter into the back of the desolar 4 watt. Now, you can charge your battery as you run your program.